In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth. Grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will allure her, I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth, when she came up from the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, she shall call me my husband and never again my father. I will expose her, I will expose you to me forever. I will expose you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing to your justice. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, My daughter has just died. But come, lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel of his cloak. She said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, 
the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all the land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, as we begin this new week, this 14th week in ordinary time, this Monday, our mass intention is for all the teenage girls among us in our various families and all the developmental challenges they face with regards to their self-doubt and self-identity and their need for positive self-images and positive role models. Today is the feast of Saint Maria Goretti, a 20th century teenager who was murdered, indeed martyred, in an attempted assault on her. She is the patron saint of teenage girls. Today we are in the company of the prophet Hosea, and we find him today speaking of the relationship between God and Israel. And in speaking of that relationship, he uses the image of marriage. Marriage, he uses to speak of that relationship, that covenant really, between God and Israel. He says, I will espouse you to me forever. I will espouse you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. And I will espouse you in fidelity and you shall know the Lord. The prophet is the mouthpiece of God, speaking to Israel, that relationship between them as one, which is a relationship really of love. This is the language of love, the language of unconditional love. And it's important for us to remember that that love that we see articulated in those words of the prophet Isaiah with regards to God's relationship to Israel is a love that is also alive and active and evident in the gospel today. There we have not one, but two healing stories, one within the other. And both persons healed are females, one an older woman, one a young girl. In the case of the young girl, her father is a synagogue official who shows great faith in Jesus. She is raised from death back to life. Now, among the healing stories in the Gospels, there are a number of such cases. We can think, of course, of the case of Lazarus, who was raised from the dead by Jesus. We can think, too, of the widow's son at Nain, who likewise was raised from the dead back to life. It's important, though, for us to remember that they're being raised to life, to earthly life. This is not a question of the resurrection, which really is being raised to eternal life. Still, these stories show that Jesus has power even over death. But more importantly, more importantly, they show the love of God. And that love of God is present from creation, which is made in love. It's present during the exodus and the exile. Indeed, it endures right down to this very moment. The love of God in creation, the love God showed to his people through the exodus and the exile, the love that Jesus showed in healing those who were ill and even those who had died, that love is the love of God which actually extends to this very moment to you and to me. Now that, my friend, is the reality we dare to believe in. That, my dear friends, is our faith. In faith, therefore, let us put our needs before the Lord this day. Let us pray for the church throughout the world, 
that given all its challenges, it may constantly be faithful to the Lord, as the Lord constantly calls his people back to him. This we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for Francis, our Pope, that he may continue to guide us after the manner of Christ the Good Shepherd, with courage and compassion for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for all the young girls, all the teenage girls in particular, whose challenges are known mostly by themselves and especially by their mothers and fathers, that they, all, that they may all always never lose hope, but realize that there is love for them, certainly love of God as expressed in Jesus. For all teenage girls we pray today. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all those who are elderly and may be at home, for them we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are sick, those who are seriously ill, both with, as a result perhaps of the COVID, but also for other reasons. For them we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And now in silence let us put before the Lord whatever needs we most heavily upon our hearts this day. For all these things, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear and grant our needs, O Lord, we pray. You know them even when our words not express them well. And keep us always grateful and faithful to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, brother. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, brother. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory. May the offering we bring in celebration of Blessed Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Maria Goretti, poured out like Christ to glorify your name. And it shows forth your marvelous works, by which, in our weakness, you perfect your power. And on the feeble, you bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, with all the clergy and with all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them 
into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed apostles with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ for the kingdom. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And yes. Lamb of God, you take your grace the Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall be. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Let us Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. And now for the benefit of all the faithful who share in this liturgy through, the, through the social media, we now make an act of spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I hunger to receive you. Since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now as I do when I actually receive you. Permit me never to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints, for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant we pray that the power of this sacrament that bravely overcomes every evil may attain for us the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now our help is in the name of the Lord. May and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. And may you have a safe and wonderful day. Amen.